Hey, welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany Inc. channel. Let's discuss something important today. And that is identifying your personal style. I have five tips for y'all today to get you to where you want to be when it comes to presenting yourself fashionably in a way that you feel like you most identify with. So let's get into it. Number one, audit your closet. This is such an important step. I feel like people who don't do regular closet audits just end up compiling and compiling and compiling stuff. And what they have isn't a wardrobe, but just a bunch of clothes where this is a distant trend and this doesn't go with this and I have all these pieces but I don't have a distinctive and cohesive look audit your closet go through and ask yourself the most important question is this garment a good representation of who I am today right now as humans we have the tendency to hang on to stuff I know I do y'all know I still have pieces in my closet from 2009 2010 2011 but I still feel like those pieces represent me or they're just very nostalgic and I just don't want to get rid of it. If that's the case, then of course, hang on to it. But everything can't be nostalgic, baby. So question each garment. Does it represent where you are right now today or does it represent the person that you want to be? If it represents the past version of you and you find yourself not reaching for it as much, maybe it's something that you bought back in the day to nurture an insecurity that you had. Maybe you work through that insecurity. Maybe that garment just doesn't align with who you are today. And if that is the case, toss it, babe. Donate it, sell it, repurpose it. Do whatever you need to do. Sometimes the answer isn't always to get rid of it. Some things can be repurposed, especially if you've lost weight or especially if it's a longer garment. It can easily be repurposed into a mini or something of the sort. Align with your tailor and get it going. And if that's an impossibility and it's just not a relevant piece anymore, again, get rid of it. Responsibly, of course as responsibly as possible. Once you do your audit and you figure out, okay, this is me, this isn't, ah, 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 you question what's collecting dust? What's all the way in that back corner of your closet that you don't touch? It hasn't been on your body since 2016. Look at those garments and ask these important questions. Why don't I wear it? Is it dated? Is it no longer my style? Was it ever my style? Is it too small? Is it too big? I don't really believe in the concept of getting rid of things if you haven't worn them in a year. But that's because I am a collector and a lover of clothes. I'm not necessarily a trendy girl. While I do enjoy a trend or three, if I haven't worn a dress since 2019, I'm going to do my best to wear that dress. I'm going to put it in the forefront of my closet. But if it's something that still speaks to me, I don't think that I necessarily have to get rid of it because I have not worn it. I think that the fact that consumption is at an all-time high and so is production, there is a lot of weight put on getting rid of your clothes and donating this and, and sending this to the... And... There's a lot of pressure behind that and you don't always have to do that, especially if it's something that you audited it and you decide you like it. However, comma, if we're still nursing that galaxy printed sweatshirt that was maybe in style in 2011 and we haven't worn it and we don't really wanna wear it and it's not close to our heart, let's consider getting rid of her. Let's consider it at the very least. Number two. Now, once you audit your closet and you figure out what aligns with you still, you figure out what doesn't and you figure out a way to get rid of it, then it's time to audit your photos. Now, this doesn't apply to everyone because everyone does not take photos very often. I'm someone who takes photos very often because I create content. So it's very easy for me to go through my photos and see what's what. But hopefully this is the case for you. Hopefully you have enough photos to go through. And if you do have a good amount of photos to go through, I want you to ask these questions. Are there any ones that make you cringe? Why do they make you cringe? 
Was it that you were just doing too much? Maybe you had on too many accessories. Maybe you were wearing something that didn't flatter your figure. Maybe you were wearing a color that's not your, your color and it's just something that was trendy. What about that photo annoys you the most? Which photos do you love and why? Was it a special skirt that makes your ass look particularly fat? Was it a sweater that has really warm memories for you? Was it some leather pants that made your legs look really long? Like what about the photo do you love the most? Within the group of photos, are there any commonalities, any repeated garments, a pair of jeans that you literally have on in every single picture, a button down shirt? That's your signature thing. If you notice a common object, it's either one or two things. One, you have a uniform, which is a great thing. Or two, you've discovered a piece that is one of your staple pieces and a core of your wardrobe. Are you noticing a color story? Are you noticing that you're more of an all black girly? Are you a color blocking, bright, saturated color girly? Do you love prints? Are you a neutral girl? Do these photos have anything in common? If so, great. We have a direction to go in. If not, still great because I feel like I'm a color girly, but I've also had neutral moments. I've also had all black moments. I've had mixed prints moments and I'm very much in alignment with my style. But if you, you're doing this, you're doing that, and you're doing that, and you're finding that you're doing all of this stuff and you're looking at these photos and you still don't feel like you're looking at a good representation of you, maybe you're just a trendaholic and maybe you just don't know which direction to go in, so you've just gone in every direction, which is fun because you're bold and you're willing to try new things but it's not good for the sake of your wardrobe because that probably means that you have too much stuff that does not align with you. And lastly, is there a common silhouette? Are you wearing bodycon in all your pictures? Are you wearing nice flowy, loose fitted garments? Are you a tight bottom, loose top girly? Are there any common silhouettes within this group of photos? Number three, now once you've gone through your pictures, it's time for you to go through pictures of some creators, some content creators and influencers you may enjoy, some celebrities you may enjoy, and you're gonna audit their photos, more specifically the ones that you've liked or saved. Are you following them for fashion or are you just following them because you enjoy them? If you're following them for fashion, what about the way that they dress do you enjoy? Is it the colors? Is it the silhouettes? Is it the entire presentation? Is it the entire vibe? What is it about them that you enjoy? What items do you like? Do you like the, the jeans that you see Lori Harvey in? Do you like the monochromatic looks that you see Anne Hathaway in? Do you like the way that Lizzo tends to mix prints? What do you like specifically? And once you figure out what you like of theirs, screen cap it and you're gonna make a folder or you can save it on Instagram and create a folder as well. Number four, and then the fun part, you're gonna go on Pinterest and you're pretty much going to do the same thing within your boards. If you already have existing boards, you ask yourself the same questions. Why did I save this? Is it the color? Is it the silhouette? Is it the vibe? Is this the vibe I wanna put off? Are these the colors I wanna wear? Is this the silhouette that I enjoy? Does she have a similar body type to me and it just evokes something within me? Why did you save the photo? Do these looks have anything in common? Color story, silhouette, brand, body size, anything of that nature. Number five. And once you have all these images compiled from Instagram or Twitter or TikTok and Pinterest, you're going to go to Canva, which is my favorite. Canva or Photoshop, whatever your tea is, if Canva is free, babe. So I like Canva. Well, I pay for my Canva. But Canva is free if you don't pay for Canva. And you're gonna take all these images that you combined, even throw in some photos of you, and you're going to make a mood board. You wanna see all these images together on a flat surface. And this is just a little bit better than a TikTok folder, an Instagram folder, a, a folder on your phone, or a Pinterest board because you're looking at everything on one page. And it's very easier 
to have the ideas float off the page and for you to see the commonalities of the images that you pinned or for you to see the differences of the images that you pinned. It's much easier to focus and you can make as many of these flat lays or as many of these vision boards as you see fit. You can make one specifically for work. You can make one specifically for date nights. You can make one specifically for vacations. And then if you do that, you can look at each one and see what they all have in common. Are they all neutral leaning? Do they all have a pop of color? What are the commonalities? Make notes next to the images. And when you get to a point to where you see what they have in common, that's when you start making your shopping list. And start slow. You don't have to buy everything. In fact, I actually recommend that you start off with just a simple uniform. Back, 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 back in the day before I started my blog, I my uniform was the most simple uniform of all time. It was jeans and a white t-shirt. Like literally the most simple thing ever. And it was a great base because I could do anything with that. I could change the cut of the shirt. I can go V-neck, I can go boat neck, I can go crew neck, sleeveless. The jeans could be boot cut, bell bottom, skinny. I can add a colorful bell. I can layer up on the jewelry and the bracelet. I can do any wash. And that allowed me the space to kind of play and see what I wanted to do. Then came the layers, a blazer, a leather jacket, Let's try a different denim bottom. Let's try a, a denim skirt. Let's try double denim. Let's switch the white top out for a chambray top. Okay, I like this. And you keep going and you build on that. After the denim Britney era, then I started blogging and my uniform was a skater skirt and a t-shirt. Black tights, skater skirt, t-shirt. That was me all the way. And I continued to build off that. And then my, my uniform became bodycon. And that was really versatile. It, it was versatile, but it kept me boxed in. Because there's a, when you do one silhouette, you kind of become a one trick pony, which is fine for some people. Some people do one silhouette and they look great. I didn't want that for myself. I kind of wanted to challenge myself. It's very easy to stick to body calm when you're shaped like me, but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit and push the boundaries to what to what I was said to look best in. And I kept building. And now I have a wardrobe that spans far and wide. I know what my style is. I know how to make little micro things within that style. I know how to pick pieces that are trendy and integrated in a way that makes sense to me. Yeah. And that's what we want to get you. And that's it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be very, 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 very useful. Like I said in the video about plus size tips, wear what you want. Always wear what you want. Guys, I have no idea what happened to the end of that video. Clearly, that's past Britney because I had braids. But... I wanted to come on and wrap this video up so we can get it posted because I really think that it will be useful. And I want to reiterate what I think I was trying to get to in the video. And that's, you know, constantly questioning, does this garment represent who I am or who I want to be when you're buying something or when you're considering buying something? or when you're building what you want your style to be. If it represents who you want to be, I would say tread lightly on that and buy things that represent you. Buy things that nurture your current insecurities, that nurture your current level of bravery. Because it does take us a while or a point to get to wearing certain things that may be out of our current wheelhouse. So if you're not prone to wearing little bodycon mini dresses, then don't buy the little bodycon mini dress unless it's super, super special and you know that you're going to work to eventually wearing it. Otherwise, it's just going to be another item in your closet collecting dust because you're not that girl 
yet. But as you develop your style, you will be working towards being that girl. Anywho, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment, let me know your thoughts below. Are you on a style journey? Can you recall what your style journey was? Do you have a uniform? Hey, because to this day, I still have a uniform. If I'm not necessarily creating something or dressing intentionally to convey a certain mood or to fulfill a vision, I'm in my uniform. I'm a Taurus babe. If I didn't really create content, I have the feeling I would open my closet up and it would be like a cartoon character and it would be all of the same thing. So do you have a uniform? If so, let me know what it is down below. I'm very interested to know what it is. Follow me on Instagram at Born in Sequence and follow me over on TikTok at Brittany Inc. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.